Hello there and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Wasafi TV has been slapped with a six-month ban for violating broadcasting regulations by the Tanzanian Communication Regulatory Authority during the recently concluded Tumewasha tour where the station televised live singer and socialite Gigi Mani dancing almost naked which is against the communication and broadcasting regulations and therefore they should issue a public apology failure to which further legal measures will be taken against the station. <laughs> Betty Charo loves her daughter and being the only child has left Betty spoiling her like the princess she is. The former news anchor went on to unveil a new gift she recently gifted her daughter that is a motorbike and it's clear to see that she spent quite an amount to acquire this gift and it's not only the expensive gift the young girl owns baby Ivana actually owns a diamond. Tanasha Donna has penned down a message of appreciation to her baby daddy Diamond Platinums after appearing on the list of 10 most viewed African songs on YouTube in 2020. A thankful Miss Donna expressed gratitude towards Chibu Dangote for believing in her and accepting to feature in her song Gere that appears on the list at number 7 with over 22 million views. Upon seeing the message, Platinums replied, Nasib Jr's mommy. Willis Raburu and ex-wife Mary Prude marked one year since losing their daughter and life has never been the same because the pain pushed the couple away from each other as they both mourn differently. Fans feel that there is more to the breakup but assume that losing the baby affected the relationship forcing them to part ways and Prude shared a photo as she marked one year since losing her baby girl. Kim Kardashian West and Kanye West are in marriage counseling with their relationship on the rocks but it didn't stop them from lavishing each other with top Christmas gifts. Sources say the two spent Christmas together at home with their four kids and Kanye gave Kim five of the new 2021 Maybachs and Kim returned the favor by gifting Yeezy several James Tarot pieces worth north of $1 million because he's a huge fan of Tarot and while they're in marriage counseling, divorce is on the table. A week after Louisville Metro PD Chief Yvette Gentry announced that she would fire two cops for their roles in the deadly Breonna Taylor raid, the axe has finally dropped. The LMPD fire detectives Joshua Jaynes and Miles Cosgrove citing extreme violations of policies. Cosgrove was one of the cops present during the raid who also fired shots. Jaynes filed the paperwork with the judge to get the warrant but never verified with the info at the post office about Breonna Taylor's ex who was and still is a drug suspect. Some criminals apparently saw Dr. Dre was in the hospital and tried breaking into his home. Four men on Dr. Dre's Pacific Palace's property when security spotted them as they were casing the house and confronted them, then quickly called the police. The men fled but cops arrived almost immediately and chased the four, cutting and arresting them. Dr. Dre suffered the, ane- Dr. Dre suffered the aneurysm on Monday and was rushed to the hospital where he remains in the ICU but in stable condition and is lucid. Kate Actress has become the latest celebrity in Kenya to be awarded the prestigious YouTube Creator Award popularly known as the silver plaque by surpassing 100k subscribers mark. A happy kid shared the good news via her social media platforms, thanking her fans for their overwhelming support and subscribing to her channel. Kate's YouTube channel that was officially opened on October 7, 2019 has so far garnered over 2.9 million views with 113k subscribing to the channel. <laughs> Comedian Mulamo has not moved on following his latest post on the gram. Having broken up with his girlfriend about six months ago, the comedian shared a message of celebrating her as she turned a year older despite having ended the relationship. Apparently, it did not mean that they would not be friends or be cold to each other, hence the birthday message. The two are believed to have dated for years before they decided to call off their relationship a few months ago. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.50pm to 7pm. From EPNK here at the Daily 10, it's goodbye.